The attack on the United States on September 11, 2001, remains one of the most significant and devastating events in modern history, forever altering the trajectory of global politics, national security, and American society. On that day, 19 terrorists affiliated with the extremist group Al-Qaeda executed a series of coordinated attacks that shocked the world and led to nearly 3,000 deaths. This event not only brought unimaginable destruction and loss of life but also marked a profound shift in the way the United States and the world approached issues of security, terrorism, and international relations. The attacks began early in the morning when four commercial airplanes were hijacked. Two of these planes, American Airlines Flight 11 and United Airlines Flight 175, were deliberately crashed into the north and south towers of the World Trade Center in New York City. The impact and subsequent fires caused by the jet fuel led to the collapse of both towers within hours, resulting in massive casualties and widespread devastation. Another plane, American Airlines Flight 77, was flown into the Pentagon, the nerve center of the U.S. Department of Defense, causing significant damage and further loss of life. The fourth plane, United Airlines Flight 93, was likely intended to target a significant site in Washington, D.C., possibly the White House or the U.S. Capitol. However, passengers on board fought back against the hijackers, leading to the plane crashing into a field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, sparing further destruction but killing all 40 passengers and crew members. The immediate aftermath of the attacks was one of shock, grief, and confusion. New York City, particularly the area around Ground Zero, became a focal point of rescue and recovery efforts, as first responders, firefighters, police officers, and volunteers worked tirelessly to search for survivors and recover the remains of those who had perished. The psychological impact on the American public was immense, with widespread fear, anxiety, and mourning as the nation tried to come to terms with the scale of the tragedy. In the days and weeks following the attacks, it became clear that Al-Qaeda, led by Osama bin Laden, was responsible for orchestrating the plot. Al-Qaeda's motivations were rooted in a radical interpretation of Islam that opposed U.S. influence in the Middle East, particularly its support for Israel and its military presence in Muslim-majority countries. The attacks were intended to provoke the United States and draw it into a broader conflict with the Muslim world. In response, the United States, under President George W. Bush, launched the War on Terror, a global military campaign aimed at dismantling terrorist networks and preventing future attacks. The first major action in this campaign was the invasion of Afghanistan in October 2001, with the goal of overthrowing the Taliban regime, which had provided sanctuary to bin Laden and al-Qaeda. The U.S.-led coalition quickly toppled the Taliban government, but the conflict in Afghanistan persisted for nearly two decades, becoming America's longest war. The War on Terror also led to the 2003 invasion of Iraq, based on the controversial premise that Iraqi dictator Saddam Hussein possessed weapons of mass destruction WMDs, and had links to terrorist groups. The invasion, however, did not uncover any WMDs and resulted in a protracted and bloody insurgency that further destabilized the Middle East. The consequences of the Iraq War were far-reaching, contributing to the rise of extremist groups like ISIS and prolonging regional instability. Domestically, 9-11 led to significant changes in U.S. policy and governance. The creation of the Department of Homeland Security DHS, and the implementation of the USA Patriot Act were direct responses to the attacks, aimed at enhancing national security and preventing future terrorist incidents. These measures expanded government surveillance and intelligence capabilities, sparking ongoing debates about the balance between security and civil liberties. Culturally, the attacks had a profound impact on the American identity and the nation's perception of its role in the world. The sense of vulnerability and the awareness of global interconnectedness that emerged from 9-11 influenced everything from foreign policy to popular culture. The attacks also exacerbated tensions between the West and the Muslim world, leading to an increase in Islamophobia and the stigmatization of Muslim communities in the United States and Europe. As the years have passed, the memory of 9-11 has been preserved through memorials, ceremonies, and educational programs, ensuring that the events of that day are not forgotten. The National September 11th Memorial and Museum in New York City stands as a poignant tribute to the victims and a place of reflection for visitors from around the world. The anniversary of 9-11 is marked each year with moments of silence and remembrances, keeping the legacy of that day alive. 
The long-term consequences of 9-11 continue to shape global politics and security. The war on terror, the conflicts in Afghanistan and Iraq, and the ongoing challenges of counterterrorism have all had enduring impacts on international relations and the global balance of power. The events of 9-11 remain a defining moment in history, influencing how nations approach security, conflict, and diplomacy. In conclusion, the attack on the United States on September 11, 2001, was a watershed moment that changed the world in profound ways. The events of that day and the subsequent response have had lasting implications for global politics, national security, and the collective consciousness of millions. The tragedy of 9-11 serves as a reminder of the dangers of extremism, the importance of resilience, and the ongoing struggle to achieve peace and security in a complex and interconnected world.